Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Prevo back at it again with another unboxing video. This time, Zobi is on fire. So, Zobi, which is one of like the best autograph companies out there. They do mystery box auctions. If you've watched my channel, you've seen them. They do everything. I'd say they're probably the biggest company I know of out there at this point. On Saturdays, they've been doing something different. I think I unboxed one of them a while ago, but I honestly can't remember what I got. This is Zobi Fire Spots. Uh, they show a list of, I think it's 20 items, and they sell 20 random spots. You pick the number you want, you buy it, and they've apparently randomized it, and whatever items the number you bought, you get. Um, I've skipped a lot of them just because there wasn't enough to really interest me in it. Uh, these run $100. If you're a subscriber, uh, you get your 20% off, so it's about $80. And then um, you know, with shipping, you usually end up somewhere in the 90s. So uh, this one, there was a uh, Mike Tyson boxing glove, which would have been cool because I love video game memorabilia. Um, there was an Orlando Bloom 11 by 14. There was a Hugh Jackman, I think 8 by 10. There was a script cover or two, which I don't care about. Uh, a couple other really big names I liked. And there are a bunch of Funko Pops. And by this box, I'm pretty sure you can tell, I hit an 11 by 14. <laughs> Clearly, and thus they're messing with me, this is one of the Funkos. Alright. I've been dying to see which one I got, so... Let's get ready for the unboxing. So, thank you. Easy. So, yeah, this one's interesting, because the way it worked out is there were five or six Funkos in it. This was, I think, number 16. The number each week. And there was one that I really wasn't interested in at all. Um, it was an actor I hadn't heard of. And this one big role was something I just... I'd never seen and probably never will. There was a horror pop I was kind of eh on. Uh, there was a wrestling pop, but it was one I had... There are a couple of office pops and maybe one other one. So let's see. We have the Zobiad on top. You can sign up for their email list if you scan that. Packing material, nothing tucked in there. Sometimes they're like, oh no. I'm wrong. They messed with me. Extra Zobie sticker. So unfortunately, now I'm really disappointed because I was really did think this was a phone call pop based on the weight, and unfortunately. It is not. This is a box cutter. It's not even going to show up. Yeah, you can't really see the autograph. Box cutter signed by one Carlo Esposito. Uh, Gus... I think he was on Breaking Bad. Hmm, nice blade. Not a safety cutter either. Yeah, that's definitely a disappointment because I never saw Breaking Bad and I have more than enough box cutters in my life already. So... That's a crushing disappointment. 
All right, you guys got me. See, I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I don't have a good way to display it, and that's not something I care about in the slightest. Alright, so, I got faked out. Curse you, JR. I hope your next donut is stale. Alright. If you enjoyed my misery, shoot me a thumbs up. Anything to say if you took part in this and got anything cool? If you think this thing is awesome? Uh, let me know down below. You know, I love hearing from you guys. Ding that bell so be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos or giveaways. This could be one. As always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And make sure you cut away from yourself when you're using these things. I've seen bad things.